creation of my own donut in our kitchen. We're Denny and Dan. Come with us as we make quick, delicious, economical meals and spend some time with our puppy dogs. Come join us. Tonight, I had to think, I had to think, I had to think, I had to think. I was hungry for chicken, but what you do with it? You can find recipes of stuffed chicken all over the place. You can find recipes of chicken alfredo all over the place. But not together. I mean, I looked. If I missed it, then I don't know where it was, but I looked. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We are going to make a nice, delicious, crispy, stuffed chicken breast. We're going to do a pasta that we're going to toss then in some garlic butter and top it all with a nice Alfredo sauce. So let's get started. Over here, I have a little bit of olive oil heating up in a frying pan. And what I'm going to do is I am going to wilt a bag of spinach. It's so sad when you wilt spinach because it comes out so tiny. Yeah, well. Just adding a little bit of our salt and pepper mixture there. Then we're going to add a little bit of granulated garlic to it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that like and subscribe button. And welcome to the channel. Hit that notification bell and be notified when new videos come out. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. This is going to be a thing for all of us because, like I said, I came up with this idea just at work. Message Dan, which unless it involves a cooked egg or fish, Dan's usually pretty good with anything, but... Well, I like egg yellows. Yeah, well, you can't just get the yellow. Well, yeah, I can give you the... I can eat the yellow, you can eat the white. And that's not the healthy part of the egg. So look at that. smells nice and does smell good. Aromatic. And I love spinach. Yeah. I do too. I mean, it, it it's one of those things that sort of is like when we were growing up, Dad, and this is how I think I got started on spinach, Dad would grow beets. Well, he'd cut the tops <coughs> off them. And you boil them like you would spinach and add your butter, your vinegar, salt and pepper, all that. And it always, I mean, it tasted just like spinach. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's what got me my hook on eating spinach. While this is, let's switch them around a little bit so that can cool down a little bit. While that is cooling, we're going to move into the next step here. And what we're doing here is, is we're going to open, <laughs> I don't know why they sealed it. I mean, cottage cheese, you can rip open the top like nothing. Ricotta is like sealed like there's gold in there or something, for God's sake. That and medicine. No, some medicines are pretty easy to open. Uh, none that I have. I mean, some of them are pretty easy to open. And that crap you buy at the store, you have to have like a saw, a chainsaw to get through the package. It's ridiculous. 
the, the plastic yes. wrap, like, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like... You know, when you're old with arthritis like we are, this is not fun. All right, Mr. I have to put a brace on my knee. Because <laughs> it's a brace on my knee, doesn't mean I have arthritis. That's what it means, I. I mean, God. But we're going to use a, how big is this? What is this? This is a 15-ounce container of ricotta. Come on. I did buy cottage cheese, too. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. That's what made me comment. <laughs> but it is, I mean... Now, in if you can't afford ricotta cheese, because it's a little more pricier, could you use cottage cheese? Yes, you can use cottage cheese. I... I done that many times whenever I was making lasagna I would use cottage cheese instead of ricotta number one because of the price or there's times if I felt like splurging on the ricotta that I would get something this size and just and that ain't it. gonna do a whole lasagna but add a container of cottage cheese to it so when I went to the store today, that's kind of what I was thinking, you know, yeah. I got, because I didn't know how much you needed, and I figured if we, if you needed that, more, you could add cottage cheese. That's going to be fine. And if not, I get to eat it. That's going to be fine. And what we're also going to add here is a little bit of grated Parmesan. And because ricotta has absolutely no flavoring at all, we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. See, I like ricotta. It's sweet. There's a dessert you make with ricotta cheese. There's plenty of desserts you can make with ricotta cheese. But you've made one. Pick one. I don't remember. I've done Blintz's. They have ricotta cheese in them. I've done um, Cheesecake. It has ricotta cheese, cheese in it. Um, and there, and there, isn't there a video of a... Did we do a cheesecake video? I don't think so. Because I know you've done them in the Instapot. Yeah. But no, we've never done a video of it now. No. We can do one. People can see how it's done and I get to eat cheesecake. If this is something you'd like to see, leave a comment down below. Please say yes. Because I need cheesecake. Oh, dear God almighty. Yeah, because you really are starving, huh? All right, let's get this on. Oh, my God, this smells better one of this. Oh, my God. So you're florentining. <laughs> Have you been watching Food Network again? No. Don't make me put that parental block on the <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta I gotta tell you what happened. The, yesterday, I think it was even, this phone call came in and it was uh, someone applying for a position at one of the offices that we take that we are connected with. Long story short. What threw me for a loop, and I thought was funny, was the name that came up on the caller ID. What? I'm afraid to ask. Butterstotch. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing after I transferred the call over to my boss so she could talk to them. I started laughing, and the PCM looked over at me, and she's like, what's the matter? And I said... We just had a phone call from South Park. And she's like, what? And I had to explain to her what the whole oh, thing Oh, dear. Is. But yeah, Butterstotch. Mm. That wasn't even the guy's name. I mean, granted, yeah, that, you know, it's obvious that wasn't the name. Still, to have it come up on color ID. But yeah. <laughs> All right. Our cheese and spinach is mixed up here. Good God, I really need to calm down after work. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we've got five chicken breasts here and I'm going to find the right knife first of all 
and we're going to make a pocket into it. Just a little pocket. That's lickable. Now it's down the drain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get one of our orange fiesta spoons here. And that's another thing too. We love our fiesta wear. We love our fiesta wear. If you ever come here to Ohio, you need to visit Newell, West Virginia, and stop at the Fiesta Outlet. Yeah, I created a monster on it. Yes, you did, because my my biggest phobia, my biggest, well, not phobia, it's my biggest, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Addiction. Before you took me there was... Bath and Body Works and Pier One. I, and I do still love Bath and Body Works and Pier One, don't get me wrong. But yeah, our our Fiesta collection just mm, I love Fiesta wear. So we are going to now be stuffing these chicken breasts. And these these Fiesta silverware we got as a wedding gift. It was left on the on the table with the presents, and yeah. to this day, we, we have no idea who no gave idea it to us. It is. No idea. So if you gave it to us and you're watching, thank you, thank you, and please tell us you did it. Watch everybody start messaging and saying, "Yeah, I did it." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one doesn't have a lot of meat on it. So we're going to try to do the best we can with that. Like that mushroom we did the other day that was mutated. <laughs> Pick one! I mean, oh my god! <laughs> there, there was... That one was just, oh my god. Grown at Chernobyl Farms. Probably. <laughs> Which that video came out today, so if you haven't seen it, take a look. Well, you might want to tell them what day that is. Oh yeah. Because we're filming this, so today is... Yeah. Is... I'm off, so I don't know. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. The Wednesday, 9th. Wednesday the 9th. <laughs> All right. I'm going to finish stuffing these chicken breasts. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. So, we got our chicken breasts stuffed. Now we're getting them breaded here. So, what do you, how are you doing that? I have some Italian breadcrumbs here. And I just scrambled up two eggs, getting them coated up, and then into a pan with a little bit of olive oil. And let them fry up nice and brown. So I'm going to finish up these two here, and we'll be right back. Alright, so welcome back. The chicken breasts have started pre-cooking. They're not totally cooked and done yet, but what I'm going to do is I have a pan here of just jarred Alfredo sauce. That's, you know, if you are like me and you do not know or do not feel safe trying to make your own Alfredo sauce, by all means, don't do it. Go buy the jar. It's in my opinion, the easiest and best way to do it. 
I've actually made that before. Alfredo? Mm hmm. Yeah, well, you got to also remember part of our thing with this channel is, is we're trying to reach out to the person that, like us, just came home from work. I am not going to stand over a stove whipping cream, parmesan, and garlic to make an Alfredo sauce. Oh, yeah, it was, an, it was a process. Yeah. This is quick. This is easy. They can come home. You fry up your chicken. You throw a jar of Alfredo sauce in the pan. Get it heating up. Then we're going to put our chicken breast back in there with it. Some leavens jump out of it. Now the leavens are going in with it. That'll just add flavor to it all. Ouch. Okay. Some of this is hot. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to put all this extra cheese and everything right back in there with it. Cheese will melt, the spinach will add into the flavor of the Alfredo. We've got that on medium heat. Now do you cover it or leave it uncovered? I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it. That'll keep all that steam and everything inside there, which is going to help the chicken to finish cooking. And how long do you simmer that for? Well. I'd probably simmer it for about almost an hour. You want to make sure that chicken is cooked. So, we'll be right back. Alright, so as our chicken and sauce is cooking, it is smelling heavenly in here. And I'm just thanking God there's a lid over it all because would be going after it. I would. But we're going to add our pasta. I'm sure a few Italians just lost their mind on that one. But that's the way I like to cook my pasta. As you break your it. grandmother would kill you. What's your grandmother? Your Italian grandmother. I didn't have an Italian grandmother. Yeah, Italian grandfather. I had an Italian grandfather. He would kill you. Probably. Stir that up. I don't trust that. Just like that. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna let that boil and cook. And as soon as our pasta is done, come on back, and I'm gonna show you what else we're gonna do to it. So our pasta has boiled. I just put a little bit of cold water on it, just to keep it from overcooking. You don't want your pasta to overcook. Gonna put a little bit of cold water in there with it. Now on to the next step with the pasta. We're gonna take yeah, I'd say maybe what you'd say two tablespoons maybe? Maybe. Yeah. We're gonna throw that into our pan. Turn it on medium heat here. melting in there. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to see if I can get some of that juice in there with it. Good heaping spoonful of garlic. Never Remember, have enough garlic. We did say this is going to be a garlic pasta. Got to have garlic in there. 
love the smell of it. And I'm also going to throw some fresh, well, dried parsley in there as well. Just for a little color. <laughs> that does smell pretty good already. We're going to bring it over here off the heat. in here with it. I'm just going to toss it around. When I was young, I used to go to a restaurant in Youngstown. I want to say the name of it was Bumpers. And they had like a garlic butter pasta that was to die for. Really? Yes. That does sound interesting. And that's pretty much what it was. I want to say it was... We had cheese in it. Maybe like a ravioli. But just in a butter sauce with garlic. Yeah. It was real potent garlic. It was delicious. Well, and that's, that's the thing with this. I mean, a lot of people associate... Um, if you're having pasta, you got to have either a marinara sauce on it, and some of us have ulcers. Uh, tomato sauce, not a good thing. Um, Alfredo sauce is always good, but there's many things you can do with pasta. I mean, you can just do like we did here, toss it with some butter, some garlic, and parsley. Um, put it with gravy. I mean, gravy goes great on pasta. Never had pasta really? with gravy, no. Oh, well, maybe not on spaghetti, but like if you boil your egg noodles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can put gravy on them. I mean, <laughs> I usually try like to beef do and that noodles. if we're doing them like, um, well, yeah, beef and noodles or uh, even with country fried steak, I'll put some pot, some egg noodles down with it. But don't limit yourself. That's that's what brought this recipe about, is I knew what I wanted, but I wasn't going to limit myself to just the traditional. I came up with the thought of how I wanted this and what I wanted on this. And that's how we got to do it. Let's take a look here at our chicken and everything. Oh, that is looking good. Mm-hmm. Smells good. Yeah. There's no smell vision yet, honey. So, we still got a few minutes for that to cook through. I mean, yes, even though I browned the chicken, I want to make sure it's completely cooked all the way through. You don't ever want to go serving chicken you think is cooked and, well, find out otherwise. Yeah, salmonella would not be fun. Yeah, no, you don't want to send your guests home sicker than... You want them to leave talking about your meal, but not in the bad way. Yeah, unless you don't like your guests, then maybe that's different. Yeah, well. So, we're just going to wait for the chicken to come, come up to cooking, and we'll be right back. Alright, so now it's time. I do this to you every time I make something, don't I? Yes. I make you wait like forever for it, huh? Yeah. Trying to get as much of the cheese in the pot and the spinach up with our chicken here. The rest of this that's in the bowl, oops, there's a piece of chicken that even stuck to the bottom. But the rest of this that's in here, I'm going to pour over our pasta. 
There's some chicken, chicken leavings. Well, I'm not complaining. It ain't gonna hurt it. I'm not complaining. It'll be like chicken in every bite. right back. So now it's time to plate this. It's, you wanna, can you hold the plate over? Yeah. I don't want to try to get any of this really all over the table if I can avoid it. Look at that pasta and the Alfredo sauce and the spinach in there with it. Can you want your plate over? Yep. I've made you wait long enough. It's yes. time to feed you. Yes, you have. How's that? <laughs> good. You want more? That's good right now. And so now on top of that, <coughs> I need my uh, server here. Oh. I'm going to put nice piece of chicken and just like in a restaurant mm -hmm. a la Denny's well a la Denny's yeah. <laughs> just hold it there that's good there we go do you want me to film you sampling since I thought this up I want your reaction yep you can so that's what we'll do is we'll get you sampling this now mind you remember I came up with this so if you drop over from the first bite I'm not responsible uh -huh. I've got all these people witnessing it It's really good. Really good. You're on your own. I'm going to eat here and hold the hammer. I love the pasta. It's really garlicky. How'd the chicken turn out? Very good. How did that look? Mm. So good. Cut into it so we can maybe see some of the... I'm, I'm trying to enjoy myself here. Got the spinach and that nice creamy ricotta. Very, very good. All right. So, give this recipe a try. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you're notified of videos as they come out. For Dan, the boys, and I, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here for us. And we hope you have a good night. We'll see you in the next video.